Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool vintage film effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect um, looks like right here. The, the, you have this really cool kind of like vintage um, film overlay right here. And then as you saw in the beginning, you have this kind of really cool um, countdown effect um, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just break down how to go about um, creating this effect right here. So I'm going to head over here to file right here. We'll just go ahead, click on project, and we'll just call it um, test right here. So you can see right here, here's the project. And I'll go ahead and just command, I'll just copy all of these clips in here in the project right here. As you can see right here, here are all of the different clips right here. And this is what the effect um, looks like without any of the effects, what the video looks like without any of the effects um, right here. As you can see right here, it's just a normal video with absolutely no effects. What we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna zoom in right here and I'm gonna apply the countdown effect. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is a, a free pack um, from Cinepacks. So you're gonna wanna download, but don't worry. It is free. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to wait until, as you can see right here, kind of go frame by frame. As you can see, this is three, then it goes to two, and then there we go. There is the blank screen right here. So we're gonna make a cut right here. You wanna make a cut when there's no more numbers right here. So what you're gonna do right here is you're gonna head over to the blending mode, and you can just press on screen right here. And then what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and copy these or just basically repeat this until it covers um, the entire video right here. So let's make a cut right there. So as you can see right here, let's go ahead and play the effect and see what kind of what we have um, so far. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like right here. You have this really cool kind of red film overlay right here. And this is what the effect looks like. And the next thing you want to do is kind of what I did was I went and basically um, applied this effect right here. And I basically just apply it onto the second clip and of course adjust it to the actual clip. And then what you want to do is go to the blending mode and you want to click on multiply right here. As you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like right here. There is a second effect um, right here. And the next effect I applied was this effect right here. There's no border effect right here. And then of course you want to cut it to make sure it fits the entire clip right here. And then you wanna to go to the blending mode right here and press on and apply screen right here. So let's go ahead and just play the clip right here and see what we have so far um, right here. So what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna just count down and then go ahead and actually apply the effect um, right here. So this is what the effect looks like so far. And the next thing I did was I just applied this border effect on top of all the clips right here. So as you can see right here, here is the border effect um, right here. I increased the scale to like 103 because you can see a little bit of the outline of the border. So you can see right there. Let's go ahead and just copy it right here. And we'll go ahead and just paste it so it covers the entire video um, right here. And wait for it to render a little bit. And then I'll play it right here. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect um, looks like right here. You have a countdown again. As you can see right there, there we go. This is what the finished effect looks like right here. This is kind of the idea that I came up with. And of course, you can go ahead and kind of create your own version of this effect um, right here. Now, what I also did was I actually added a sound effect, like a timer sound effect. So let's go ahead and delete this. I can't really like show an example in this video because obviously you won't be able to actually hear the actual sound effect. So it'll be hard to line up the sound effect. But what I did was I applied this sound effect, bomb timer beeps count one, and this is from Epidemic Sound. So what I basically did was I placed a marker every time the number changed. So it changed to eight. I'll zoom in a little bit, change to seven right here, then six, five, 
four, three, two, and there actually isn't even a one on this countdown right here. So I placed a marker every time the number changed right here. And then what I did was I'll just zoom in right here and then I basically just applied the um, bomb timer um, count right underneath that clip. So as soon as we go to the next frame, you're going to hear the, the, the timer right here. As you can see, kind of just watch the audio right here. Watch this audio right here and you can see it kind of changes. So there you go, that's how you create the sound effect. You don't have to add that sound effect, but this is what the sound effect is called. It's from Epidemic Sound. And then you basically just line it up every time the number changes, but of course that is all up to you and your personal preference. So again, this pack is from Cinepax. The link is going to be down in the description below. What I just did right here is I just applied a border effect on top. Apply this light black right here, blending mode to multiply. Um, no borders, turn the blending mode to screen, and then I basically just copy and paste this all over here so you have that red overlay. And I kind of have this countdown effect um, right here. Another thing you can do right here is you can actually go to the color curves right here, and you could change the different color of the outline right here. You can make it more red, less red. It just depends on what look you want to go for. I'm just going to keep it at red. Um, right there, but that's pretty much it. That's so how you create this really cool, kind of old, vintage um, film effect. So, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro Tad tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro Tad tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro Tad tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.